Hey, what's up guys? It's Alonzo here, and I've got a domination game on Cracked for you guys. I'm running Believe with a completely new team of randoms. I have no idea who these guys are, but we uh, end up winning together, so that's always nice. I am running around with the FNFAL. That's actually one of my favorite guns, even though I don't have a lot of kills with them currently. My favorite gun is currently, it's still the uh, FAMAS, but soon gonna be overtaken by the Galil. And I know, I know, I don't actually have a class with the FAMAS anymore, guys. I know that it's overpowered, even though after the patch, I've tried it and, ooh, Claymore. And uh, it's still quite usable. Uh, but I currently switch, you guys all have seen all my uh, videos, you probably know that I'm still, and I got shot again, uh, that I use the AUG nowadays, but actually this was, it is funny thing, but I never knew that the FAMAS was overpowered for a long time, and I've always thought that the AUG was more overpowered, because I like the way it, uh, the AUG kind of had like this uh, circular recall, and uh, the FAMAS usually kicked up into the right. I didn't like that uh, kind of recoil on the FAMAS and I actually thought that uh, the AUG was a bit more overpowered than the FAMAS which was the uh, primary reason which why I used the FAMAS in the first place because I kind of don't usually do it often but I like to give myself uh, kind of a gimp or uh, kind of a disadvantage just so that it makes the game more interesting but now knowing that the FAMAS is actually overpowered uh, I kind of feel embarrassed, but uh, I have the Galil and the FNFAL as a uh, backup, and uh, I turn on this guy. Somehow I get shot in the side. That's awesome. Well, yeah, uh, FNFAL is a gun where you have to be really steady with your aim and just really uh, sure with your shots. You probably have to be not close distance because in uh in ultimate close distance you're you're just gonna get pooped on by somebody with a shotgun or smg or even a regular uh full auto assault rifle you just have to pick your battle sometimes i'm running with hardline uh hardened pro and ninja pro this time uh whenever i'm running in a full party i usually don't run with ninja because there's not enough time to listen to other people or enemy footsteps. Um, usually I'll have to run Marathon just so I can run to the other team spawn because, well, my teammates are just insane killers and I just need to do that in order to get the kills. But whenever I'm running with a team of randoms, I prefer Ninja. And over here I see a tactical ma I mean a tactical insertion guy and get rid of him. I hate the tactical insertion. Usually uh, for games like Domination, I don't mind it so much. But, so oh, and then I try to keep shooting at this guy in the, uh, he's capping right now. And that is a really smart placement of a flat, uh, smoke grenade, sorry. I, uh, I've always been like a proponent of being an objective player, but I've always never run like the smoke grenade often. Maybe I should start doing that a little bit more. Oh, and over here I get a real tricky kill. And uh, oh, actually no. Oh, my mistake. I forget. But uh, in this game, we do pretty well with a team of randoms. Um, there's a few people on this uh, on my team that actually have a mic, and I'm surprised. Usually when I'm playing with others. Uh, Nobody has a mic, and uh, we're all being quiet, but during this game, quite a few of them actually had a mic, and were actually talking to me, talking strategy, and uh, laughing and joking. Um, so I was quite, quite presently surprised, actually. And, uh, yeah. Capping the B flag over here, being a team player. Most of the time, I'm not uh, capping. I, I do quite do... Uh, sorry, guys. I do quite a bit of capping in my uh, usual gameplay. That's because most of my uh, teammates, when I'm not playing uh, objective or when I'm playing, ooh, when I'm playing in a full party, they usually don't like to cap, knowing that I cap often. So I'll cap a lot of flags. But when I'm in uh, a game with randoms, it's sad to say, but I don't trust them like fully. 
sometimes I'll just have to gauge how they are before I start capping stuff because half of the time I just get shit on whenever I'm trying to cap a flag because they're just doing off doing random stuff so it's it's kind of hard and it's a double-edged sword playing uh, in a ra game of randoms because you'll you'll have to gauge how the enemy team is and how your teammates are half the time they'll be just doing really bad and uh, capping the flag doesn't really even help the team out anymore um, at a point you just have to figure out what's what's best capping flags and uh, holding down positions those two things are kind of you, you just have to kind of find a balance and that's I think to be one of the hardest things to do in a match but I keep going uh, random thoughts but I'll stop uh, the FNFAL yes how to use it correctly see over there that was me using it with uh, hip fire it's kind of dangerous but when you know what you're doing you have to have a good trigger finger but uh, the hard part about it is to aim and shoot at the same time this guy just goes over here and completely oblivious to what's going on look at him I'm chasing him but he has no idea what's going on I don't know if we had like a counter spy plane on or whatever but that was an embarrassing moment for that guy so we go into here and I try to call in my chopper gunner I don't know if I sped this up or not yes I do uh, yeah to save time but keep in mind always that uh, when you're playing with a group of randoms just make sure you know that uh, they know what's going on and I go on a tear shooting everybody who goes into that hut right there uh, I remember this chopper gun well that was a good that was a pretty good one yeah so trick to using the FNFAL always remember to breathe and uh, aim slowly cuz when you're when you're clicking uh, I mean when you're shooting sometimes you have to just shoot really fast but then you have to keep in mind that your thumb is still on the aim stick sometimes I would even just hold on to L1 uh, that's uh, probably what the right bumper for you guys in Xbox but make sure you just aim and fire and do not touch your aim sometimes use your body uh, use your um, motion your uh, left analog stick to move your character instead of aiming sometimes because when you're aiming and shooting at the same time it's really difficult I suggest you guys try it out the FNFAL is actually a really really good gun it gets in up close sometimes it gets two shot kills and far away three shot kills which is already a really good gun I mean like not a lot of guns do that remember back then um, the G3 that was another gu a good gun that I liked in uh, Modern Warfare I mean uh, Modern Warfare 1 and during uh, Modern Warfare 2 I've also used a bit of what's that gun that's just semi-auto I forget uh, this is Alonzo guys take care and uh, try that gun out you'll be presently surprised bye